Have you finished modeling your object in Blender, but feel stuck on how to texture it without getting lost in complex node setups? Don't worry. I'm here to show you the easiest way to add realistic textures in Blender. Let's get started. Step 1. Download and extract the texture. Go to a site like Polyhaven to download a high-quality texture file. Make sure to download a texture that includes maps like color, roughness, and normal. Once downloaded, extract the texture files from the zip folder. Ensure you know where the files are saved for easy access later. Step 2. Prepare Blender for texturing. Open your Blender project with the model you've finished. Switch the viewport shading to material preview mode. This allows you to see the textures as you apply them. Step 3. Open the shader editor. At the bottom of your Blender interface, change one of the panels to the shader editor. To do this, hover over a corner of the panel, drag to split it, and select shader editor from the menu. Select the object you want to texture and click new to create a new material. You'll see a default principled BSDF shader appear. Step 4. Import the texture. Click on the principled BSDF shader, the main box in the shader editor, to select it. Make sure the yellow border around it turns white. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus T to open the file browser. This is a shortcut for the principled texture setup. Navigate to the folder where you extracted your texture files. Select all three texture images, color, roughness, and normal maps. Important. These files each have a specific role. The color map gives the surface its basic appearance. The roughness map defines how shiny or matte the surface is. The normal map adds depth and realism by simulating bumps and imperfections. After selecting all three, click Principled Texture Setup. Blender will automatically connect the textures to the correct inputs on the Principled BSDF node. Step 5. UV Unwrapping Your Model Switch to Edit Mode by pressing Tab. Select your entire object by pressing A. Press U and choose Smart UV Project. This automatically unwraps your model, ensuring the texture is applied evenly. Step 6. Adjusting the texture scale. If the texture looks stretched or uneven, in the shader editor, locate the mapping node connected to the texture. Adjust the scale values under mapping to resize the texture until it fits your model perfectly. Increase or decrease the X, Y, or Z values to stretch or shrink the texture in specific directions. Keep tweaking until you're happy with the result. Bonus tip to quickly see how your texture looks. Enable viewport shading in material preview or rendered mode. If you want finer adjustments, zoom in on your model and observe how the texture wraps around edges and corners. And that's it. You've just added a professional looking texture to your model without diving into complicated node trees. With this method, you can quickly bring your models to life. Keep experimenting with textures and mapping for even better results. Happy blending.